PIP, also known as picture in picture, is an effect that is frequently used to overlay some smaller videos on a background clip, allowing you to display two or more video clips on the screen at the same time. It is a useful technique for creating convincing content when creating online tutorials, product demonstrations, or game videos, among other things. It is extremely beneficial to those who work in the online teaching and tutorial business. Let's start with a quick color correction. Let's begin by adjusting the white balance. Let's now tweak the color settings. Now I'll go ahead and add a LUT to the video to make it look cinematic. Now I'm going to use the plating food video from sample videos for creating the PIP effect. I'll drag video to the timeline and then place it where I want it to appear on the screen. I will resize and reposition the clip in the preview window. Let's add some pool animation to this clip. I'll go to the animation tab by double clicking on the clip. Now I will drag the pause preset and drop it on the clip in the timeline and then adjust the animation. I would like to add some borders to this footage. To accomplish this, I will navigate to the utility section and drag the border utility onto the clip to create a nice border around the PIP frame. Now I'm going to double click on the PIP clip to change border attributes. I'll set an orange color for the end attribute, slightly blur it, and then change the direction of the color gradient. We have created a nice picture in picture effect. If you want, you can also add a text element to the clip as well. Let's say I didn't like the rectangular shape of the PIP frame and would like to change it. I can accomplish this by using a mask utility. I'll go ahead and drag shape mask and drop it on the PIP frame. Make sure that you drop it on the PIP track, not in a new track. Otherwise, it will be applied to the background video. Now I will double click on the track and adjust the parameters of the shape mask. From here I can change position, width and height of the mask. I can also add feathering to the frame and invert the mask. Now I will reset everything and set width to 75 and height to 90. Because we changed the width and height of the clip, our border is no longer visible. In the video effects section, you can't rearrange the effects. As a workaround, first delete the border effect and then re-add it.
video editors and content creators should take advantage of PIP and masking. It improves the visibility of the video and makes it more engaging.